TSA officials expect around 20,000 travelers a day to pass through St. Louis Lambert International Airport over the next 10 days. Fox 2's Mike Colombo tells us how to make that travel experience as smooth as possible. The airport line between you and your destination is longer this time of year. Doing your part to make your pass through security as smooth as possible starts with knowing the rules. One of the troubling things we're seeing is the number of guns coming to checkpoints across the United States. TSA regional spokesman Mark Howell says security at Lambert has confiscated 100 guns so far this year. That's nearly double the number it found in 2019 when travel volume was similar. If you have a firearm and you want to travel with it, you could do so. It just needs to be packed uh, the proper way in a check bag. And you can find the rules for that on the uh, TSA website, tsa.gov. Just look for the firearms and ammunition page. Guns aren't the only prohibited item you need to check. Tools for the home and garden won't pass either. Please double check what you what you're bringing to the airport. Hall recommends being inside the airport at least two hours before your departure time. He shared this tip for those traveling with gifts to give. We recommend that you don't wrap those before you come to the airport. Use a gift bag or just wait till you get to your destination to wrap those. Uh, because if the bag or, or the package alarms, uh, we're going to have to take a look at it and we don't want to have to undo the wrapping that you did before you came. Howell says the peak air travel days nationwide are December 22nd and 23rd. At Lambert, he expects all of next week to be busy, so plan out where you're going to park. Finally, don't forget your face mask inside the airport. Mask wearing remains a requirement through March 18th, 2022. Wishing you safe and smooth travels, I'm Mike Colombo reporting.